Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Sauce by Buffalo Bags. This is a bag I've gotten a lot of questions about since Buffalo announced they were going to release it. I didn't know a whole lot about it, so I went ahead and grabbed a set, fast-tracked this to get this review out to you guys so that you can make a decision whether you want to buy it or not. Let's go ahead and break down this bag. In fact, let's, let's start with, this, with the name here, Sauce. I kind of like the name Sauce. At first, I was a little confused, but Buffalo Sauce, I, I have to believe that was intentional. So I do like kind of the, the humor there in the name Buffalo Sauce. Anyway. Uh, to the bag and the materials slow side this is the carpet bag this is this is the what i call the clone carpet it's the variant carpet it's not the same as what ultra uses on the viper r it is the same material you find on the b3 coyote the swag bags kaboom x level lights out southwest hefe the um the corner tricks joker i just reviewed the costello x um, a lot of companies are starting to use this material and a lot of players like this over that viper r carpet it, it plays very similar to it it is a little different I tend to go back and forth, which I like better or not, but I do like this material. Uh, to me, it's a five-speed material. It's very consistent at a five. It plays a little faster brand new. Once you start to break it in and, and get it softened up, get it fuzzed a little bit, it gets to that five-speed and, and pretty much stays right there. I think some people call it a five and a half. I've, I've seen it called it a six. I think Buffalo calls it a seven. Uh, now, Buffalo's in Texas. The boards are a lot of times faster down there, so maybe it plays a seven down there. Where I am, I, I'm more at that five. I, I could see a five and a half, maybe a six, but I, I call it a five. Uh, it does play well in humid conditions, so if boards get sticky, damp from humidity, it still keeps moving pretty consistently. It, as as you get more humid, more moisture on the board, it does slow down a touch, but it's still kind of that right around that five range. It's what I like about it. It stays consistent in most conditions. So five speed slow side. Fast side, this is that same fast side you find with the deadhead, the ambush, the pro sniper, the viper. It's that nine speed material. It's crazy fast. It slides the board in all conditions. It pushes, it's great for pushing through congestion, great for collecting bags. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful fast side materials. We're gonna add a five nine speed bag. Jump on this bag. This is a medium template. It's very it's it's pretty consistent with like the Deadhead, the Fallout X, or a lot of the other Buffalo bags. That medium template. It's got the flat fill in there. The buff. I think Buffalo uses the same fill in all their bags. It's a medium amount of fullness. So you have you know you have some flop, but it's not you know it's not overly crazy flop floppy. So but the, you know there is some flop to it with that flat fill and the amount of fill in here. You get a nice. Nice, really smooth, fluid hand feel. You get a nice nice amount of feel to grab hold of. The bag is very forgiving. The landing with that flat feel, so it doesn't really kick. So if you don't throw a flat bag, you have a little bit of tilt on the other, it's not going to kick that hard on you. I will say, if you get enough tilt, it will kick. I've had a few kick on me. I, 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 you probably see some in the videos here if you watch closely. However, that kick also means the bag is cuttable, so you can you can shape shots with it to some degree as well. So anyway, if you're familiar with, actually, if you're familiar with the Dan Head or the Fallout X, a very similar feeling to the bag as far as the template, the fill, the amount of fill. That's kind of what you're getting here. Let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll talk about playability on this now. And this, this is a bag that's very versatile. It, it really is, and that's why everybody loves this material. You you can you can go hole for hole. You can run bags in the hole. It's wonderful for that. Just trying to outscore your opponent every round. The, for being a five speed material, it's pretty hole friendly. Like I, I don't recall having a lot of bags hanging on the hole. If I did have them hanging, they're pretty easy to collect. I do remember a couple of times I was going for airmail drags and I wasn't successful. I just want to mention in all fairness to the bag, that wasn't the bag's fault. Those bags were probably out of play. They really weren't collectible. When I do reviews, I'm, I'm super aggressive because I want to see what a bag can do. So I might step out and try to collect bags. I may try to drag bags that I wouldn't normally do in a game or a tournament or a competition. But when I'm just reviews, I want to see what's where's the limit to that bag. Can it do more than I think? So not a knock on the bag when you see I'm trying to get the river drags and I don't successfully do them. It's not the bag's fault. It's just that I was trying to do something that probably shouldn't be done. But I don't recall leaving bags really hanging there. If there was a bag hanging, very easy to collect. Uh, the, this material is also controllable. You could throw blockers up there. You can put blockers where you want. And you can get really aggressive and put them over your opponent's side because the bag's really collectible. You can come down and you just clip a quarter. It's, it's not going to cording up. You clip a quarter, it's going to go in. In fact, most of my collects, I collect on the slow side of this bag because it, it moves very well, very easy to collect, so I come slow side. The only time I really flip it over is if I was trying to push and follow through. If I, you know, especially on my last bag or I just want to clean the board up, I would go fast side because the, the fast side's awesome for pushing through and following right in. Uh, but it's very collectible bag, so if you want to put blockers that you can do it, it like I said, you, you can cut this material. It's not going to it's not going to be a super aggressive material at cutting, but you can definitely shape shots, cut around it. Uh, above average rollback players, you can roll this bag. Uh, maybe average, I don't know. There's enough fill in here, enough fullness. I think you can roll it, but that, that flat fill doesn't have the bounce and movement that I like for trying to roll bags. It's not, it's not a bag that I would be wanting to play a roll style game with. I think Buffalo makes other bags that are better for that. But again, if you can roll, if you're a good rollback player, you can roll any bag. For those of you that are average or trying to learn, not the best bag for it. 
but it, it is possible to do with this bag. I, I like the fact that, you know, you for me, this is a bag that I would throw blockers up there and cut around it and then collect my last bag. Or it's a bag that I would run the first two bags in, throw a third bag third bag, bag blocker up there and then collect my fourth. It's kind of a bag that I, if I want to play a little bit of a hybrid style game, that's what I use. If I want to play a full dirty style game, I think I'd rather play like the 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 conflict X, the the instinct, or right? and Buffalo's got a new bag called the Frenzy that looks like a more of a dirty style uh, bag for dirty style game. So those I think Buffalo's better bags lineup for that fully hundred percent dirty style game. But it's a wonderful material if you want to play the hybrid game. It's great for blind draws because you know no matter what style game your your partner's going to play, you guys can even if you're you play opposite style games, you can both play your game with this bag. So oh no, I really like the bag. I like the material. I like the way it plays. If I would if I would say anything, I, I tend to prefer to like more of a mixed fill, more of a bead fill. Maybe the fill is the one thing I would say that I would like to see change. However, I, you know, I tend to like that bead fill because it's more hole friendly. I didn't really have an issue with the bag singing. I said for for a five speed material, the bags really went in the hole really well. So I, I you know I say that to think I would like it, but you add more beads in here, you're gonna get a little more movement, a little more bouncy, maybe a little more kick to it. So you know maybe that the the the, the what you gain if anything around the hole. Maybe you may offset it with the kick and the bounce and all that stuff. So I don't know. I, I say that, but the bag plays great with the flat fill in it. So I, I, I probably leave it alone. I think, I think it's a solid bag. I really like the way it plays. I think you will too. Uh, it, you know, if you haven't tried out this material yet, this is a great bag to try it out on and see if you like it. I, it's a better bag, in my opinion, than the Costello X. I, I, I didn't really like that bag a lot. I really like this one. Now, the question I know I'm going to get asked probably a thousand times is the sauce or the fall at X. And I kind of thought about that. And to be honest with you, it's really more of a personal preference. Do you prefer the herringbone carpet or do you want this cloned carpet? I mean, it's really what you want. Same fast side, same fill, same template. They play a very similar game. The only thing I would say about that Fallout X is that herringbone carpet, you can really manipulate that material and slow it down a little more. So if you get it dirty, you rough it up, you can play it slower. And you can really play that down to a, you know, a four and a half, four speed. If you like playing a sword style game, you can also clean it up, keep it clean, keep it shaved, keep it keep the fuzzies off of it and it'll play closer to that six speed. So you can really manipulate the follow X and, 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 and change the speeds up. This one's more consistent with it. So that would be maybe the thing. If you like playing with the speeds a little bit, maybe with the follow X. if you like the follow X, I, I don't know if there's a reason to have both this and the follow X in your bag at the same time. They're, they're both, again, they're both similar style games. I, you know, I don't know if you want both of them, but maybe you don't like the herringbone carpet. Then this is a great option for you. So I like the fact that Buffalo is giving you an option, right? You you have two bags that are very similar Different slow sides, play similar. And again, you got the deadhead there, which is also a five speed slow side, but it's that you know, reverse surefire material on there. So you have another option of similar speed. So this is this is kind of in that line of what type of material do you prefer, what feels best to you, and that's what you want to play. I don't know if you want all three of those bags in your line in your bag, but they, you know, depending on what your preference is, you can get one that you're gonna like and you're gonna enjoy throwing. So anyway, let me know availability. Buffalo has a website, buffaloboards.com, link in the description as always. The other knock, probably the big knock on the bag is the price. Buffalo is not the cheapest bags out there, um, but you know they're 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 this set's one hundred twenty five dollars, uh, which I've I've said it time and time again. I don't mind paying up for a high quality bag. This is a high quality bag, but if you've never thrown this material, maybe that price is too much for you to go try it out. I would say try it on a different bag. It's maybe a little less expensive. Make sure you like it before you invest one hundred twenty five dollars on these bags. Now Buffalo does have free shipping, so that that one twenty five is all in shipped to you. So you can you know factor that in when you're looking at the prices on there. But it's definitely and, and these bags are nowhere near as expensive as the Cornell Scenario, the Ultra bags. It's kind of more aligned with like the BG. It's a little cheaper than BG because BG puts shipping on top of theirs. But one twenty five, a little pricey. But I, I you know again. You're getting your money's worth out of the bag. Not complaining about that. Buffaloboards.com is the website to go to. If you don't want to pay that 125 price, Buffalo does run bags on sale. Now, this being a newer bag, it's probably not going to go to sale right away. But if you hang around, wait around, a little patient, the bags may start going to sale. You can catch them at a little bit cheaper price here and there. Or go look out, you know, some of the secondary groups. You can probably find a used set. There's not really a secondary market. So, you're not, you know, if they're used, you should get them cheaper than that. Anyway, check them out. If you throw them, if you, I'd love to hear your feedback on these, especially if you're throwing these in the Fallout X. Which ones you prefer and why. I love hearing your guys' feedbacks on that. So I thank you guys so much for support and thank you for watching.